Okay. The script for the rescuers review is all done. Now I just gotta go record it and wait, what's this? Oh, that that new Fairly Odd Parent show is on Netflix? Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um Well, I am a fan of this show. I have been watching it for a while now, but after Fairly Otter, I'm not sure if I can watch anything related to that show ever again, aside from the original four seasons. Um, let's see, what do other people think of it? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Overwhelming praise from every animation reviewer on the internet. Interesting. Well, I guess I gotta watch it now. I mean, there's no way it can be that good. Right? tell me that not only is the new Fairly Odd Parents show great, not only is it probably one of my new favorite shows of the year, but that it's possibly better than the original? I, I can't wrap my head around that. After Fairly Otter, I thought this series was dead. After that live-action bomb wreckage, I, I thought this series couldn't come back from that. Damn. I don't even know where to start. This show... It's really good. Like... Really good. I'm sorry, I'm just in such disbelief right now. I'm just trying to think of what to say. But, I'll give it my best shot. All of you that have a Netflix subscription need to watch this show now. I'm going to try to keep spoilers to a minimum. But let me just say, off of that cliffhanger alone, it better get a second season. Okay, let's dive into the review now. What's up? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Animation Station. You're watching different animation, including TV and movies as well. I'm your host, Jackson Small. And yes, I just got done watching season one of the new Fairly Odd Parents show that was so hyped up over the past few months and then kind of just disappeared for a little bit. But now it's back on Netflix. And oh man, I, I was so happy to finally watch it because I had been hearing for months about how good it is, about how well done it is, about how it's possibly one of the best revivals slash reboots slash whatevers of any franchise in recent memory. Now you may think, oh, you're overpraising it, like everyone else on the internet. No, I am speaking genuinely here. I'm usually one of the more strict people here on the internet. You've seen me, I'm not afraid to tear something like this apart, but I literally can't with this one. Like, I'm sorry, most of this review, I'm in, I'm in disbelief rather than trying to actually do the review. <laughs> because I can't believe we live in a world where this is actually good. Please excuse the Dragon Ball hat. I was filming the Daimo reviews. So, um, I guess let's talk about it? But, okay, maybe I should give a little backstory first. I love the Fairly Odd Parents. I don't think it's, like, the most amazing series in the world, not by any means. But those first four seasons of the original show were really, really good. 
It was smart writing. It was clever dialogue. It was great characters. It was fantastic humor. It was solid animation for the time. And it was extremely just enjoyable to watch. Like, the original Fairly Odd Parents is still a really good show. But then seasons five and six happened where it started to teeter, and then it just fell off a cliff. But then we had those live action movies with, uh, you know who. And I'm not going to say that I hated those movies because I actually find those movies fun, but I can see why most people don't like them. That's all I'm going to say. And then came Fairly Otter, which was a, a terrible trash bag that we all knew was going to be a terrible trash bag, and we all got to thankfully rip to shreds when we all realized we were right about calling it a terrible trash bag. Like, Fairly Otter should not have existed. It was terrible garbage, and it's one of the things that, as of right now, I refuse to review. That and Velma. Those are the two things I outright refuse to review. But... When I heard that we were getting this new show that was finally going to ditch Timmy Turner and actually try to do something new and actually try to modernize the show for real this time, there was reason to be excited. But at the same time, you had those people, the, those people that are like, oh, the, the main character's black now, so, so now it's terrible. Whoa. You know, that, sh that, that response you get every single time you try to appeal to different demographics. So, naturally, that did make me a little nervous. I did see the trailer. It was pretty good, but I wasn't really sold on it yet. And then the show came out. It was highly praised. But I still couldn't really bring myself to watch it. I just simply didn't have the time, unfortunately. But now, thank you to Netflix, same with Dragon Ball Daima, I'm able to actually watch it now. And this show's really damn good. Like, really, really good. I, I can't do it justice in a spoiler for your review. All I can do is give you my general overall thoughts on it, and hope that it sells you enough to check it out, because... If it does good, if it does well, it will get a second season. And I want another season. Heck, I want this to last just as long, if not even longer, than the original Fairly Odd Parents. And yes, I am not kidding. So, here's my review. I tried to keep spoilers out as much as I can, but I may or may not have sneaked a few in there, and I apologize. But I hope you still enjoy it. Well, the reviews online from those who saw this one during its syndication and its run on Paramount Plus were not kidding. This show rocks and is a huge reset after the previous failed attempt to modernize the series with Fairly Otter. The animation is excellent and very stop motion esque, as well as some great implementation of the original's 2D animation style and the background details and the title cards. I love that they use 2D art for the title cards, that is such a nice detail. The voice acting is fantastic, whether it's Carlos Alazraki back as Cosmo, or Wanda, or the new kids on the block. They all do so well here, and they all sell their characters so well. And I'm not going to say who he plays, because it's a huge spoiler, but Eric Bowles is in this show. Yes, Bugs Bunny is in this show. And he is, um, he's amazing. That's all I'm going to say. I can't say more because it's a spoiler, but it's amazing. And if you've seen the internet, you probably already got spoiled, but... Sorry. The stories are great. It really feels like they got back to basics, and it really feels like a return to that sharp, clever, great storytelling that made the first four seasons of Fairly Odd Parents such classic, iconic, amazing animation. The humor is razor sharp and very effective. This is arguably one of the funniest shows of 2024. It's right up there with Knuckles, and it's right up there with Has Been Hotel. Like, when this show wants to be funny, it is incredibly funny. And 
I'm 23 years old. I have watched a ton of stuff like this for years. And at this point, I would think I'd be desensitized to most of this humor. But no, it, it took me by surprise. And even in the first episode, almost every five lines was a great joke that made me laugh. Like, whether you're an adult or a kid, this show will make you laugh. The callbacks to the original are clever. They're not intrusive. They make sense in the terms of the story. And they're also just cute little background details for those that have watched every single episode of the show. Of the original, obviously. The characters are an excellent blend of old and new. Like, I love Hazel. She's such a great new character, and she's so different from what Timmy was that allows her to be her own character. I also love her parents. I love her friends. I love the classmates that she gets stuck with in her school. <laughs> Especially the ASMR kid, which just feels like a hilarious little jab at that corner of the internet. Uh, I'm sorry, this shit is just so funny, I can't stop laughing. The writing is superb. The writing in the show is so, so good. Again, it, it feels like back to basics. It feels like back to what made Fairly Odd Parents work so well in the first place. While also being its own unique thing. The runtime per episode is perfect. They're, they're not too long. They're not too short. They're just right. Sorry, that was a bad analogy. <laughs> but my point is, um, there's technically 20 episodes, but Netflix re uh, lists it as 10 because it's two episodes per Netflix episode. So, yeah, we're kind of back to the standard 11 minutes of uh, cartoons from the 2000s, which is really nice. Especially with cartoons nowadays trying to push hours long. Uh, the new theme song is awesome. I heard this theme song days before the show originally came out. And I already really liked it. It's, it's a really good song. It's a bop. The morals are well delivered. This show still has its morals. And it still has an attempt to give messages to kids. But... It's not done in a way where it's preachy, like most kids' shows nowadays. It feels genuine. It feels like it's being delivered with grace and respect. And it works really well to the benefit of both the characters and those watching the show itself. There's an impressive amount of lore expansion. Like, I was shocked how much expansion to the overall lore Fairly Odd Parents there is in here. Whether it's about fairy retirement, or what happens, or how fairies are assigned to different kids, or the rule, or more explanations of the rules, like, sorry, Dow rules, I forgot about that pun. Um, it's really expansive on the lore without even, like, trying to force it in your face that it is, like, there's definitely expansion, but it's more so in the background while it lets the story take the foreground. Which is what shows need to do most of the time to actually reel in the audience. Like, we love lore expansion in our shows, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm a Dragon Ball fan. I mean, that should explain itself. But we still want to have the story at the forefront rather than just expansion of the overall lore. I know that sounds a bit like an oxymoron, but trust me when I say, if you have watched animation for as long as I have, or heck, even longer, you understand what I'm trying to say here. What I'm saying is this show's really good. <laughs> and the modernization is surprisingly good. Like, most shows that try to modernize old IPs are either cringe, or come off as half-efforted, or just feel like wasted cash grabs. But New Wish is smarter than that. It actually uses its modernization to its advantage, whether it's telling jokes to poke little jabs at certain uh, types of people or the internet, or to show how much things have changed since uh, the original Fairly Odd Parents. Like, it's all done well. It's all done well, and the modernization is effective. And it's not cringe. Like, this show's not at all cringe. I mean, that alone should get it praise. 
because if you saw the last few seasons of Fairly Odd Parents original before it got cancelled, yeah, you'd know what cringe is. That being said, though, it does have some problems to work out in its second season. Some of the jokes are hit or miss, or try to be a little too clever. A lot like, um, something I literally just reviewed. A few too many puns. This show loves its puns, and it can get a little much at times, especially uh, Cosmo and some of his puns. Like, I know my puns are bad, but Cosmo's somehow make mine look like freaking Shakespeare. <laughs> the side characters could use a little bit of more development. They're kind of just there for jokes more so than development, aside from Hazel's one best friend. But I'd like to see more episodes focus on the other kids in the school. But maybe that's just me. And the villain is a bit... By the books. The, the principal is a villain that we've seen a dozen times before in a dozen other shows. Most, no, most notably stuff like Recess. But it's not bad by any means. It's just something we've seen done before. Like you have the grouchy principal that doesn't like what the new kid is doing. And does whatever possible to ruin her fun. Like, we've seen it before. It's literally a cliche in of itself. Overall, though, this is an outstanding return to the franchise, and one of Nickelodeon's best projects in at least a decade, not including Glitch Text, which got so... Ugh, Glitch Text just makes me so sad. That show could have been so much more if Nickelodeon decided to just treat it better than it actually did. Sorry, I'm getting into a rant about a different show, then I'm supposed to be focusing on another show. I don't know, I guess it's just how my brain works. I really hope it does well, because this is what we've been missing from most modern cartoons nowadays, and I'd love to see a second season. Good job, Nick. Please do more of this in the future than your usual garbage. Seriously, Nickelodeon, do more of this, and less of your Loud House crap. Do more of this, and less of friggin'... Uh, what's another bad show on Nick that's running right now? Um, Paw Patrol. More of this, less of that. Because this is sharp, clever, well-done writing, and a well-done show that brings back the old fans of the show, while also bringing in new fans, such as the kids watching with them. This is a really good show. It throws back to everything that made the original Fairly Odd Parents work so well, while also standing out in its own unique way. It's definitely going on the best uh, shows of 2024 list for me. Right up there with Has Been, right up there with Knuckles, right up there with X-Men 97. It is such a good, good show that appeals to a wide audience. And if you have not seen it yet, watch it now. You absolutely need to watch it. It is an incredible show. It's a fantastic show. And it deserves to be more than just a one and done. And if that sounds far-fetched, well... Opinions are opinions, I guess. The, my final verdict for the Fairly Odd Parents on New Wish Season 1 is a 9 out of 10. Please give this show a second season. Please give this show as much love as you can. Watch it over and over again. It needs more. We need to see more. I want to see those side characters get more development. I want to see delivery on that incredible cliffhanger in the last episode of the season. I want to see more of Hazel and more of her adventures. I want to see what her, Cosmo, and Wanda get up to. Heck, maybe even possibly a, a cameo from Timmy Turner. I don't know. I don't know what they have planned. All I know is, if we get a second season, they have so much great stuff to build on. And saying that about Fairly Odd Parents, for the first time in decades, is really nice. It's a really nice thing. Okay, I think I've said enough about this show without spoiling it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this almost every single day. And I'll see you in the next review. Take care. Your chance, and you won't end up like the fool who